In this video, I'm going to show you how to assess regional and segmental intervertebral motion of the mid cervical spine in extension in supine position. Hi, and welcome back to Physio Tutors. Passive assessment of the quantity and quality of segmental intervertebral motion, also known as motion palpation, is part of the diagnostic clinical expertise of manual practitioners to guide decisions on a therapeutic strategy for patients with spinal pain. Hypomobility indicates mobilizing interventions, while hypermobility calls for a stabilizing approach. A systematic review done by Fentrifle et al. in the year 2005 evaluated the reliability of passive segmental assessment of the cervical spine and found an overall reliability of poor to fair. For this reason, the clinical value of passive mid-cervical spine assessment is rather weak. In order to perform regional range of motion assessment for mid-cervical spine extension of vertebrae C2 till C7, have your patient in supine lying in a diagonal position while the examiner stands at the head of the bench. The head part of the bench is lowered to make room for the extension part of the movement. First, fixate the arch of C2 with a key grip with your working hand and rotate the upper cervical spine via the patient's occiput until you feel resistance. The patient's head is resting on your supinated forearm and fixated in a chin tuck position with your chest and shoulder. Then your other hand fixates spinous process of C7 into ventrocranial direction with the back of your hand supported on the bench, where it remains during the movement. Now perform a maximal homonymous 3D movement with your working hand and shoulder with equal components of extension, ipsilateral lateral flexion and ipsilateral rotation. This is best accomplished by the examiner if he moves his knees from extension to flexion and by moving his body sideways. This movement causes maximal compression of the facet joints of C2 till C7 on the ipsilateral side. The whole movement is judged on resistance during motion and at end range, range of motion as well as possible pain provocation compared to the other side. In order to continue with segmental assessment, first rotate the upper cervical spine with fixation on C2 until you feel resistance again and fixate the head in a chin tuck position. To test segmental motion of C2, C3, your working hand stays on the arch of C2 and your fixating hand is now placed on the arch of C3 with a key grip into ventrocranial direction. Then perform a maximal homonymous 3D movement with equal components of extension, ipsilateral, lateral flexion and ipsilateral rotation again. Again, make a coupled movement between your forearm and shoulder, flex your knees and move your body sideways. To test each component of intervertebral motion, slightly move out of the end range and now test extension between C2 and C3 by moving C2 into further extension by flexing your knees. To assess rotation, rotate C2 to the side to be tested between your forearm and shoulder. And for the lateral flexion component, keep C3 fixated and move C2 laterally by moving your body sideways. In order to test the lower segments, move your fixating hand down on C4 with your working hand on the contralateral arch of C3 and perform a 3D extension movement and continue this way until you reach C7 with your fixating hand. Each component is judged on resistance during motion and feel as well as possible pain provocation compared to the segment above or below. Alright, this was our video on intervertebral motion assessment of the mid cervical spine in extension in supine position. If you want to learn how to assess intervertebral motion of the mid-cervical spine in extension in sitting position, click on the video right next to me. As always, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to give this video a like if it was helpful to you, of course, or share it. Click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it in order not to miss any future videos. This was Kai for PhysioTutors. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.